Alright. You good to go? Matchmaking delay is going right now, so 150 seconds will be live. Just give it a few minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was trying to figure out how to get to work with my end. That was like the most annoying part. It's having to wait the three minutes to see if it starts. Right. Or not. I've never done it on OBS, so I have no idea what it would look like from your perspective. I don't. Maybe it was the delay, and that's the reason it was like just not working. Maybe. I mean, on uh, Streamlabs, it tells you like when it's starting, based on the matchmaking delay. Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was weird. For a while. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Spring 2023 Valorant Quarterfinal Match of the Week stream featuring number 5 seed Bayport taking on number 4 seed Horlick. I am your fellow with seed commentator Andrew Sushina. Join alongside our beloved color commentator Henry. Forgot to unmute in Discord. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Spring 2023 Valorant quarterfinal match of the week stream featuring number five seed Bayport taking on number four seed Horlick. I am Andrew Jr., your fellow with seed commentator. Join alongside of our beloved color commentator, Henry. Yo. All right, there we go. All right, so let's get into notes for today's matchup. Starting with the Bayport Pirates. Players consist of Thomas, Ziggs. He's a diamond one. 
uh, Roman Rollboat, Gold 3. And Ethan Ethan Voltage, Silver 3. B Plax, no rank. Uh, B Plax is the Pirate sub, as A Frame is not able to make it into today's matchup. And then Iron Warrior, no rank provided. But as we saw in the Week 7 Varsity matchup, Iron Warrior did get an ace on the Oak Creek. So keep your eyes on him in this matchup. Uh, spring 2023 regular season stats for Bayport. 6-2 overall, 98-45 round differential, 5th seed in the Division 1 playoffs. They defeated Appleton North 13-1 in Week 1. They lost to Racine Park 10-13 in Week 2. Defeated Greenfield 13-0 in Week 3. Defeated Case 14-12 in Week 4. Defeated Waukesha South 13-2 in Week 5. Defeated Kimberly 13-3 in Week 6. Lost to Oak Creek 9-13 in Week 7, which was featured on stream. Defeated Middleton 13-1 in Week 8. And for the playoffs so far, they... Henry, you're going to hate that I'm going to say this, but they <laughs> defeated Preble 13-4 in the first round. Uh, home and away stats. Rough game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Not our best. <laughs> uh, home and away stats for uh, the Pirates. They are 2-2 two two as home, 5-0 and oh as away, and this does include playoffs. Uh, player statistics, Ziggs coming in with an average combat score of 331.86, a KDR of 2.45. 2 and he's played all nine games. Iron Warrior, 302.43 average combat score, 1.6 KDR, has played eight games. A-Frame, who's played five games, average combat score of 274.25, 1.74 KDR. Uh, Rollboat, 200.14 average combat score, KDR 1.6, has played all nine games. Voltage, 135.23 average combat score, 0.78 KDR, has played all nine games. And b Plax, their sub. Has played only three games, average combat score of 56.33 and a KDR of 0.29. Moving on to Horlick. Their players consist of Noah Baggy, who is a Diamond 3, Sean Rich Youngin, who is a Platinum 3, Carlos Knox K, who is a Platinum 2, Jackson Skittles, who is a Gold 3, and TJ Blaze, who is a Silver 2. Spring 2023 stats for the Rebels 7 1 overall, 98 and 43 round differential, fourth seed in the Division 1 playoffs. They defeated Greenfield 13 0 in Week 1. Lost to K7-13 to in Week 2. That was featured on stream. Me and Henry both called that one. Uh, they defeated Oak Creek 13-10 to in Week 3. Defeated Waukesha South 13-8 to in Week 4. Defeated Middleton 13-0 in Week 5. Defeated Kimberly 13-1 to in Week 6. Defeated Arrowhead 13-1 to in Week 7. And they defeated... Henry, you're going <laughs> to hate me again. Defeated Preble 13-10 to in Week 8. Uh, playoff. That, that game wasn't that bad. We did terrible. <laughs> no, it, not as bad as they play. <laughs> Two knocks on you. <laughs> uh, playoffs uh, defeated Arrowhead 13 to six in the first round. Home and away stats. Horlick is three and zero as home, five and one as away. Player stats: Baggy coming in as the top frag. Two ninety nine point twenty five average combat scores. KDR of two point forty four. He's played eight games out of the nine. Knox K two ninety three point eighty nine average combat score. One point seventy two KD. Has played all nine. Skittles has played all nine games. 278.56 average combat score with a 1.91 KDR. Rich Youngin, 220.33 average combat score. A 1.22 KDR and has played only three games. A rare, their captain who will not be playing today. Average combat score of 158.43. 0.93 KD has played seven games. And Blaze, average combat score 147, KDR of 0.82, and nine games played. Uh, Henry, with those notes out of the way, what do you expect to see in this matchup? Okay, so call me biased, but I'm going to go with Horlick here. Uh, but I do think it will be a close game just because Bayport is a team that has been historically pretty on and off. But I feel like... Since they did definitely show up in the first round of playoffs, um, speaking from a first hand, uh, I feel like they might carry that over into the second round here, but at the same time, Horlick is also quite the opponent as they, you have pretty much, thir you've got 13-0, 13-1, 13-1, back to back, right there. That is just a crazy run at that. And, just, I really do think that Horlick is going to win this, but you never know. Well, uh, for those of you who know me, you obviously know who I really want to win this matchup. But for uh, <clears throat> unbiased purposes, uh, Bayport does have a shot to win this. Uh, it just depends on what version of them we're going to see. Are we going to see the version that was against Park? 
Are we going to see the version I was against Oak Creek? Or are we going to see that version I was against Case? That's going to tell the story of this matchup is what version of Bayport we are going to see. Because I already uh, iterated before that Iron Warrior was pretty good for Bayport in that Oak Creek series. It's just the rest of the team didn't really follow through. But if Bayport is able to start off strong here and, and really get at Horlick mentally, then they could walk out of here on top and advance to state. But Horlick is just too tenacious at this point, I feel. Blaze wants to go to state again. He got his opportunity uh, in March for Rocket League against Waukesha South, and that didn't go well for him. So he, wa he wants another crack at it. It's his senior year. It's my senior year. Put two and two together, and that's exactly what I want to have happen. Him winning the state championship for Valorant, but that's going to be a tall task in and of itself because they have Bayport today. Then they'll most likely play Park in the semifinals at state. Then if they were to win, they would most likely play Oak Creek in the finals which would be a tremendous run if they could get it done, but I, I don't know if they could do it. That's a lot of tough competition, Henry. All right. Um, we have seven minutes until game time. All right, we do have a party invite. Uh, Henry, I'm going to get you in here. If you're just tuning into the stream, this is the match of the week stream for the Spring 2023 Valorant quarterfinals. Today's matchup consists of number 5 seed Bayport taking on number 4 seed Horlick. A storied esports rivalry for sure. Horlick, biggest esports rival. I know on football that's different with Case and Park and Franklin, but here it's Horlick and Bayport that's the biggest rivalry for the Rebels. As well as Case you could throw in there as well. Especially for Rocket League, but... This is not Rocket League, this is Valorant. But going against that better judgment. Uh, so some history that both Bayport and Horlick have in competition. Now back when, way back before I joined with Sia back in 2019, Bayport and Horlick were top teams in Overwatch. I don't really have any statistics to give you on that. But I can give you the stats on the Rocket League seasons that I've casted. Since in the fall of Smash season, Bayport and Horlick didn't really do too much in that department. But for Spring 2022 Rocket League to start, Bayport went 4-4 four and four overall. They made the playoffs and they lost to Superior in the semifinals. So Bayport has been on the cusp of state championship appearances before. So this isn't their first ro rodeo on this. Uh, and then in winter 2023, they went three and four overall. They made the playoffs again, and then they faced tougher competition in the first round as they lost to Oak Creek. And then moving on to Horlick, in spring 2022, they went four and four overall. They made the playoffs, but they lost to Case uh, in the quarterfinals, which was a bit tough for me to watch. Uh, casting out of the car that G Sports Arena really wanted Horlick to come out on top, but ultimately the better team won. And that's what happened at the end of the day. And in winter 2023, uh, as we said earlier, or as I hint, iterated, I'll say that, uh, Horlick made it to state for Rocket League last March. They went 5-3 and three overall in the regular season. They made playoffs, but they lost to Waukesha South in the semifinals. The the titan of Division One that is Waukesha South. At least for now, though, because Divine and Pixlr are no longer members of Waukesha South. Rogue Tech is the only member left of that We'll just call it a dynasty as they have won two straight Division One championships for Rocket League. And honestly, Division One is pretty wide open. And I think the top two teams are going to be Waukesha South and Oak Creek for sure. Oak Creek is only losing one asset, I believe, and that's going to be JDE. But Waukesha South losing two assets is going to be hard for them to really uh, jump ahead in the rankings. Uh, and... Obviously, we're not going to have time now, but before this stream ends, uh, we'll be giving you an in-depth look at the playoff brackets for each of the three divisions, and I'll be showing you guys information on the state championship this Saturday that's going to be at Carthage College. Uh, Henry, are you going to be making it to state?
Honestly, we'll see. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, you know, it's Carthage. Carthage is a little far away. So yeah, I... maybe uh, there's a good chance I can't make it, but we'll see. Okay. Because June 3rd, I might, I might be doing something that day, but we'll okay. see. All right, sounds good. Uh, by the way, uh, I think this is a good milestone to announce, but this is officially my 28th playoff game for Wasia. Man, that's crazy. 58 regular season matches, 28 playoff games after this one. It's it, it's crazy across four seasons. All right, we're playing a set. Ah, yes. And we're gonna see um, Horlick on defense. Okay. They put on the attack. And uh, I think we're all situated, so we'll be gonna do it shortly. Yeah. Horlick wants to wants to start out on top early here is they are they are a great defending team. In the uh Horlick Waksha South makeup match that I casted, Horlick was a bit shaky on attack, but when they switched over to defense, they were they were pretty much impenetrable, like you said before, Henry, in your matchup with them. Yep. All right, looks like we're gonna get things started. Yes, sir. Here we go. Quarterfinal playoff time coming at you right now. All right. So, okay. So, Velocca already for the starting lonely. We're gonna see a KO and an Omen. And then a KJ Jet on the side of Bayport. We're gonna see a Gecko in Omen Lock right away. As well as with KJ KO and race for Horlick. Now the race I expect to see, the kill dry I also expect to see, and the KO I also expect to see. Gecko over Sova to me is a little bit orthodox, but that could just be because I'm not really that, like, I don't get it. I don't see a lot of Gecko play anyway, so. Yeah, me neither. I don't really see Gecko too much. I think this is like... I feel like ever since launch, he just kind of flew under the radar. Yeah. Like a lot of people, you know, he, he was like a really hyped up agent. And a lot of people like played him at launch. I remember everybody was insta-locking him in ranked games. Yeah. And now he's just kind of like... He's kind I feel of like a little there. bit underplayed. Yeah. He's balanced. But sure. I feel like his abilities are a little slow, which yeah. uh, definitely hinders it a little bit. He's pretty versatile too, so definitely very versatile. Yep. I mean, he has a wingman that can actually plant the spike. I mean, how cool is that? Wingman is definitely one of the better abilities in this entire game. I won't lie to you. For sure. So I say we're gonna see a B push, but the thing is, we have four people here. With the exception, of, you could say that Blaze is playing market here, but we're gonna see the faster it's it from. Um, Mox here, but he's actually gonna stay CT. Horlick is gonna dodge, or I mean, Bayport is gonna dodge this knife here. They're gonna do their best to push up. That's exactly what they're gonna do. Making contact right away. Iron Warrior, double slash link back site. Gonna find a pick on the Skittle. Destroy Lonely gonna get this trade. Ziggs looking to fight um, Market. Knocks going up lane. Two players on the side of Horlick holding lane here. Not gonna go from Nox. One enemy remains. Ziggs falling. Insane retake here. Wow. What? Absolutely stellar retake. What a retake by, by Baggy and Blaze. I did I'm not sorry, expect Horlick. that to happen. Wow. It was oh, no, it, no. Henry it was a three v four, three v five, and then Horlick just mopped the floor in that round. Horlick, wow! The retake from Horlick, especially the these two players, Blaze and oh, sorry, <laughs> Blaze and Knox, just absolutely walked it down lane, able to get so many frags, and the baggy coming from behind from stairs, which was completely uncontested. 
which is a bit of a fault on Bayport's part. Looks like Nox is a line up here. And we're gonna see an A hit from Bayport. Seemingly one, but right now they can't really buy. We're gonna see a force from Hornick. As the set is cool. We're gonna see Baggy play a little bit aggressive here on the A main. That's gonna go out from Nox. Unable to hit anybody A main. Once again, Bayport is successfully hiding from the knives. Now we're gonna see Baggy holding a Skittles is tree main. as well. Multiple peeking into Baggy. Baggy not hitting any, but Zig's gonna land a shot on there. Smoke's potentially going down. Only one smoke unlocked for Zig's actually. Double Sash actually going in from Iron Warrior. He's gonna try his best to clear Jen here. But we're getting closed. Wingman planning. And their point successfully claims site like, there really well, but it's a 5 versus 5 retake on the side for like, so let's see how they handle this. You got Skittles and Blaze here, trying their best, hopefully gonna catch one gen here. Skittles sees the gecko. DP lags, soon as best. Iron Warrior finding two kills with that classic, so lonely finding one of his own. And Iron Warrior finding a third in a first! Iron Warrior showing up for his team on just a whole other level here. Wow. Leaving Bayport to a say to a thrifty. An amazing thrifty at that. How they were able to pull that off is just insane. I think what Horlick's fault there was is that they gave up sight too easily to Bayport. Yep, and then Bayport just takes advantage, ties the game up at once. So. Usually they would have the advantage on the retake there just because they have guns, but they put played that really well. Yeah, we're seeing a more aggressive and fierce side out of Bayport. See a bit of a split push from Bayport. Now in possession of spec days and other various weapons. Voltage with a Vandal. We see a Judd from Rollboat. Here. But we're gonna see Horlick on a save here, which is already putting them at a disadvantage, but we've seen stranger things, that's for sure. Baggy pushed up with a shorty. He's gonna be camping main. None of the members of Bayport are going to be going towards A. Is he just trying to Kind of. Oh no, he's Bowhouse. I thought he was pushed up <laughs> tiles. <laughs> Looks like Bayport's going through mid catwalk now. Now we're going to see Bayport push up tree here. Going to spot Skittles, who only has a ghost. Zig's looking to potentially find a pick here. Don't smoke down. Knox is unknown. He has the Frenzy Iron Warrior clearing him back. We're gonna see six TP up onto Heaven. Not hit with a KO knife either. In the bomb down. That's a plan. Baggy finding a pick. We got two players playing heal hell here. Another smoke from Six going out. We're gonna see three players up Heaven. All three for Horlick. See Skittles teleport here. Blaze gonna drop right into both players. And all that means is Skittles, which Ziggs is gonna take down for a second cut around. Alright, well. Again, an, an amazing side take on the side of Bayport. This is actually extremely uncharacteristic from Horlick, as their defense has been iron tough in comparison to yeah. what's going on right now. Potentially, they do have something in store for attack. I mean, after all, watched. they do have an attack set composition with that silver there. Oh, I think but we will see, because right now, Hoylick is definitely making quite a bit of an advantage. We're going to see a four stack a B yet again. But as we do see, Nox has played very reactive in the past. You can see Skittles trying to set up a flash for his teammate here. Destroy Lonely in Nox, equally pushing up. Aldron's going to go out and, not, and mark Voltage. Not sure if he was able to see any of Voltage's... All your teammates say. We're gonna see a bit of a rotate towards mid from Hoylick. And going over to A. Baggy's gonna get blinded. So we're gonna see from Bayport. Literally, no, Baggy's right behind them. Baggy in Blaze right behind them. They're unaware. They're still unaware. No one's bothering to check flank. They can get on site before though. Oh, TP yeah. on the site from Ziggs. Flash is gonna go out from BP. Five one players on feet, rowboat falling. Plays two, knocks another, and now it's up to Ziggs. Ziggs, Ziggs fighting two! Wow. Sure, they'll be up having Last Iron Warrior finding two of his own.
It's a 1v1 situation. It's a 1v1 situation. Versus one situation. Destroy Lonely knows where he is. 30 seconds left. Smart play with the dart, but it's gonna miss Iron Warrior's proximity. I'm is spotted. This is perfect for Destroy Lonely. I find that so funny, Just because <laughs> <laughs> I know he's a musical artist, so it's like <laughs> destroy lonely boy valley. Where does the iron warrior go for the bomb? Destroy lonely potentially trying to play off his dart. He's behind Jay, not at the best spot ever. Spice went out the reload. Uh, iron warrior, see him. The show stopper being popped. Destroy lonely has to run. Not quite gonna wrap, gonna break the window for the audio cue. Iron Warrior still holding onto the showstopper. We're gonna oh, shoot it! Somebody. It's gonna ultimately oh, kill Destroy Lonely. Wow. Winning out the round for Bayport once again. An insane clutch. Their numbers were so far down. Ziggs, honestly, I think was the start of the show there. Just right. with those first two kills. Those two players from Portland like, lining up right through his streamer bullets. And also the other Iron... day, I got a 4k from doing that. <laughs> and also, Iron Warrior has come into his own as well i mean in the oak creek game, has conquered this game yeah at this he, point in the oak creek game that i saw he had an ace he was he was doing things with rays and uh we just saw in that in that round four he did some things with with rays and uh he is in his groove yeah he's definitely in his groove for sure getting that 3k park is he's kind of a back. default for bedport but kind of leaning towards the A side here. And we're gonna see Nox also push up with the Stinger into the spawn before the game. Which is a bit of a questionable play, but we'll see how it works, especially with that Stinger. Here. Again, we're gonna see where the here sit and smoke. Flash gonna go out. Oh, oh, but Nox is inching up on the position. We're gonna see if he can get this flank. I don't think Voltage is Is he gonna find Voltage? Like He's unaware that there's so many people. Just trying to wait for exit frags. Not gonna play aggressive at all, which is the smart decision. Might be able to get two over one here. Get the spot one. Gonna get his frag on the zigs, but it's ultimately gonna get traded up by a rollboat. Right Skittles here. has the deagle here. I can probably have the save, but we're gonna see a heavy rotate over to B side. Nobody's staying. I don't think Horlick is aware yet. Thirty seconds left. Thirty seconds left. They have to have some urgency to at least get to. The Skills are spotted, not gonna go up from voltage. And it is ultimately going to suppress. Skittles gonna get Iron Skills, Warrior. Skills, who is gonna win the gunfight Fight against Iron Warrior? That's, That's bomb in the middle. One enemy not gonna win his baggy with three. What just happened there? I didn't even see. Baggy a three k Rippy, rolling. Okay, we know the drill. Neither did I, but Maggie just went we'll up big for, for like there. Absolutely, clutching up the round. I was so invested on that gunfight between Skittles and Iron Warrior. <laughs> Just the pop right to the head, right to the dome. And that I was the thing of the sheriff. And that was a huge pick for Horlick because Iron Warrior has been one of the one of the top players thus far for Bayport. Outside of Ziggs. See the dart. Go for Horlick. Ultimately, not gonna spot anybody. He's gonna get hit by the knife, though, from Nox. Unfortunate turn of events. He's, he's also gonna get smoked off here. BP likes is in possession of the bomb. We're gonna see the rest of Zook's team kind of move towards this hold of from Tiles here. He is aware that someone could be Top Cat. Blaze is also equally as aware. Skittles. Baggy in the spawn. Skittles able to find six. And BB Lacks even clear it. And Nox is here. Jesus, his knife out though. Both spotted. Both players spotted. He sees one pizza through the smoke. Beautifully done. Nox. Gonna close it out for Horlick. And they tie the game back up. And they've got their footing now. in their wheelhouse right now. This is going to be a very, very competitive match throughout the rest of it. I wouldn't be shocked if this game went into OT. Neither would I, to be fair. I'm gonna see the knife out. 
Not right away from Nox, but we're gonna see Baggy make a lot of noise. We're just gonna make the report automatically already cautious. Snipe also gonna get shot out by Ziggs. We're gonna see Voltage picking up the spike for Bayport. Bayport's body is broken. We're gonna see a go two Spectres, a Stinger, and a Bulldog. He's holding the default Cover from the extremities. We got one player in mid as well. Skittle's gonna see Voltage. I was gonna try to get a couple of shots off of him. Still trying to peek for mid bottom. Voltage is gonna. I worry getting orb. Get his way out of there. Inching his way closer to show stopping. We're gonna see a rotate. Definitely going from Nox. It is also gonna be broken on show's presence. Guard also gonna be broken. Iron Warrior gonna find the headshot on the Skittles. It's gonna hurt him quite a bit. They are aware that there is at least one market here. They're unaware of Nox's position or the Silver's backside. Blaze gonna get one, Voltage gonna left. get one. It's a four we're, gonna see this, we're gonna see the lockdown go out. Nox and Sword Lonely both in decent positions. The Sword Lonely ultimately is going to get blocked out by that. But I'm gonna get hit by Iron Warrior. Unaware that there's two people waiting for him. The push out from Nox is gonna ultimately find him. Robo B finding an amazing pick on the destroy lonely. Honestly, I take that back. He was on lockdown, but still, you can call it amazing anyway. Swarm grenade going right in there. Wow. Killjoy also four looks own one. Blaze threading the needle with that swarm grenade, and it's ultimately gonna win them the round with the assist from Baggy getting the pick off Zigzy. Oh, no, no. Alright, so Baggy right now start, start the show for Horlick. Horlick takes their first. Round advantage since the opening round, I believe. Alarm bot out. Placing swarm grenade. We're gonna see the arm from Baggy. Ooh, this, this could definitely spell doom. Horlick's feeling confident and dangerous. You are powerless. Then we're gonna see a whole B push. Oh. Blaze finding one on Iron Warriors, X one in the trade. Bayport now has indeed entire control over B site. So there's still four players left. The Soul Vault going out from the destroy only. Destroy is actually gonna get one. Silva is gonna be. Maggie's gonna get blinded twice. Jolt's over. To pick up a gun. Oh, he's not able to get the kill. There's only one member left for Bayport, and that's B Plax. Plax is one, doesn't get destroyed lonely. <laughs> they gotta hurry up and defuse. They'll have time though. Same in the out though. They got more than enough. And Horley gets the job done again. Third straight round win. Actually, they're one, two, three. Oh, it's their fourth one. one link breaks, the rest will follow. Four straight round wins for the Rebels, and they are looking red hot. And we have a few more rounds before the roll swap, so Horlick could stack on some more round wins. And that would be very beneficial for them, because their, their main game is defense. It was where they're most comfortable. That's why I was thinking they'd start on offense and just make sure they rank up just a few rounds and then go for the heavy defensive strategy. Shadows traveling. Oh, bad! He's gonna get one. The voltage already up. Be. See how he meant those from Bayport though. Is he gonna go over, Arch? I can find anybody. I'm only gonna go. Cool. They're all scattered in mid courtyard. Satchel up. Iron Warrior you're gonna use the satchel to go towards the beach cubby. That's where Skittles is gonna be. Iron Warrior's gonna meet him though. He's gonna get that pick. So lonely. Too expecting Bitfoot. Robo, gonna find the pick, gonna win that gunfight there. It's three versus three. And we are gonna see. 
Well, he's gonna come for that... the catwalk and guard. Yeah, he's, he's gonna be going tree. into tree, which actually could be extremely beneficial. Maggie's to apply with the a little bit more pressure on the whole okay. Maggie's gonna find one. Maggie's a nice pick on the robot. Not so much one on the. Oh my lord. Wow. I don't even have time to speak because Horlick is just cleaning this up so easily. Nox has oh been a, a focal point in this matchup for Horlick by far. He has gotten some really good picks that has allowed Horlick to win some of these rounds in post plant situations. It's, it's great to see. Every member of this team is getting involved in one way or another, and that's exactly what you want. Alright, Baggy, you're gonna play aggressive with this off here. Little as you know, all five players, sorry. Not even popping his dash either. Playing so wide is such a risk here. Oh, gonna wow. find one and get Spike out of there as well. A. He's gonna peek again. Dash pops. Oh, more than accuracy, unfortunately. He's gonna jolt away wisely. I'm gonna get the second pick. Showstopper has gained. I just realized that. So the Iron Warrior does have a little bit of entry tool or entry utility here. Please. See voltage. We're gonna find a pick on the voltage as well. And now we're gonna see our three remaining Harley players backed into kind of a corner here. As we are gonna see Nox expecting them from tiles. We are also gonna see Skeetos hold tiles to kind of hold a long range crossfire with Nox. We see Blaze hold an angle near mid top. Skittles will be in courtyard. Skittles, Skittles finding a pick on the Iron Warrior. That's huge. Blaze gonna get. He's gonna go out. Also, like a blind one. Robo picking off out of that. Getting both players. Wow, that's huge. It's doable. Both ults online for both players from Hornlike. You should run. Lockdown going out. I'm gonna wait a few seconds, but Nox on the flank, like to destroy it. Actually, end the game. I'm gonna molly it and break it. One That's possibly it for. That's left. it for Bayport. Spike down A. Oh, it. Yep. It's it's really low low pick. Gonna clean it up. That's seven three. And Horlick wins six straight rounds. After the old down Nox one three. To me, did seem unnecessary. Essentially, it was a fat finger. I did that a lot, so. <laughs> We all have those moments. But I do that with my raise ult, I cry. <laughs> yeah. Fat fingering in the raise ult would not be good. <laughs> Unless if you're expecting to do that somehow. I mean, but like, wasting that ability, man, that, that, that that's a hard I mean, sometimes sure. it literally sucks. Like, you can point blank someone and hit some 144. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. Baggy is just. Baggy. <laughs> Again, just. Uh... Always go, always good for at least one every round of that up. Yep. Just commanding presence at the moment. Showing why he has a 2.44 KDR and the highest average combat score of any member of this team. That was kind of a mid look, and we're gonna assume go through tiles here from Bayport. Again, three alts online, two online for or like. Sally no longer have the KO. No command. Flashbang goes out, Nox actually has blind to self. Holding it, waiting for the ults. Blind eyes of teammate Iron Warrior, but Iron Warrior is gonna find skills. And he's in market here. Nox is gonna get blinded. And he's still on line with that op. In the blade storm as well. Get a fine on pick on the bull. Maggie's gonna get gonna four. Him. They might be able to get the ace. Can Baggy get the ace? He relax. No. He relaxed with the killer, shutting him down to the ace. He said, no, you don't get a club today. <laughs> Double stack from Horlick here. I'm not sure if that's smart. One player needs to go one way, the other one needs to go the other way. DP Rax! DP Rax! Oh, oh. Blaze gets it for Horlick! Wow. I was so ready to turn out for him. I was so ready. I was ready too. I thought B-Plax had that, but ultimately Blaze rising up. Horlick with seven straight. They are five rounds away from moving on to stage. Last round to use our creds and abilities. Five Don't rounds away from the state. Mine. Orlick needs to make this round count. It's the last one they're going to be on defense for. 
another insurance round in their back pocket in case of attacking is a bit murky would definitely help the rebels for sure. Moving the Phantom through Baggy, definitely assisting his teammate quite a bit. Not the Odin himself, not gonna go out right away, but sadly the guess is wrong because three, four players are sitting at A here. Just giving up B sight. Skills back off. Yeah, they're giving up B sight. Vapor wasting no time. However, Blaze has a lockdown. Spike planted. That That's is, a game changer. That is true. Horlick very well could just win this off the back of lockdown. He's gonna need to send it out quickly here. Gotta get into position to place it. Gonna be able to, and now it's just up to Bayport. Um, kind of a suicide mission to break it. The Zig's gonna find one. The Skittle's gonna find his. One more can walk up. That's gonna end. Baggy finding his. Zero point is detained. Oh, oh Baggy! Oh. No He's blinded. Oh, they get him! Baggy oh with the my right God! Are oh, they gonna get it? And that's it. No, they get it. Yeah, you're fine. All right. Oh my goodness, dude. Ah, There's a ring they got it. There's a ring that emanates from it. Um, and if it's like after that ring, Switching you don't get side. it. But if okay. it's before, you're good. Gotcha. Yeah. That's always how I recognize it in my games. Yeah. But nonetheless, still Horlick winning eight straight rounds now. That was that was an incredible round. Baggy through it all, being dizzy, being just in. The a, uh, what do you call it? A, um, a sticky situation there. Oh my goodness. And Horlick was able to clutch it up, Skittles and Baggy putting in the work as they are going to be on attack. Well, Bayport's going to switch to defense. Now you're the ghost here. No points for him either. Wait, that's a. Oh, no, wait, I forgot this. Is... <laughs> this is... Second half. Alright. I was wondering if that goes on attack. Can you set up here? Maggie, looking backside. Trying his best to find enemy kill Troy. Gonna find another rollboat. Gonna find his head. Skill is gonna find rollboat, ultimately trading. Not in a predicament here. In fact, losing health down to 18 gets knocked here, though. Ultimately, before I do. Skittle is gonna find voltage. Oh my god! Wow. At that time, four in total. Skittle's a 4k. Just lighting Crazy up base. Crazy first round from more like there. Wow, and that's on attack too? Henry, they are and now they hitting have a their force as well, which is pretty much. I mean, I don't know about last time, but could be guaranteed to get them to 11. They are hitting their stride right now. Rushing B again is kind of bold, considering the fact that they did have a killjoy there, which took out two players. But honestly, it was kind of a it was a really close pistol, kind of off the back of Skittles there with his 4K. We're gonna see him buy a Phantom. Quite ambitious, but honestly, it might pay off. We're gonna see a dark on the B site. And the knife from Nox, or sorry, not Nox. That is voltage. Go on to. Hey. Baggy's gonna right, take no, some Baggy damage. Really as well. The util is kind of gone. One down. Baggy also finding a pick on the rollboat. Ziggs with the, oh Ziggs with the, uh, that that frag is insane. Spike no, 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 that possibly just won them around. Phantom in the possession of Ziggs. Guys, what can you do with it? Ziggs shooting through the wall now. Or like he's still holding stronger in this Last defense. Not one, oh not my funny. goodness, Horlick is just finding two. Wow, winning that out. We got his frag to die. In fact, one of them around. We got to check the stats for Horlick after this match because every single player on the team has done they their are job. Going off right now. I wouldn't be surprised if the top five is just all of Horlick's players. That would actually be insane if that happened. That would be a screenshot and a half for sure. Alright. I'm looking at an A push here. We got two players. We've got BP Lax and Iron Warrior on the sending side of Bayport. 
Or you see the knife go out. That's probably gonna land a late flash over. Molly down dice, doing his best to clear out things. Oh, B Plax. B Plax oh, has no away. choice Molly, but to suffer. Hard Warrior, they're anticipating Nox. The Voltage is getting a pick on the Blaze. 3 versus 4, Zerg. Find another pick, and it's up to no chance. destroy Lonely here. Take him out of the Bulldog. Molly got broken by Zerg. Oh, he's fine too! So oh. Certainly finding a pick, unable to get around. Go about nice trade. Good callback. One in the bonus, if you will. Good round for Bayport. Uh, they could use it as momentum to win more rounds, but at this point, they're they're down seven. I mean, it it has happened before on this stream, so don't rule it out. But at Horlick is kind of clicking on all cylinders here. But again, don't rule out Bayport. Uh, winning a couple more rounds here to make the score closer. All Horlick needs to do is just play their own game for the next two rounds. And just do their thing and win. Because they only need to win two more rounds in order to advance the state. We're going to see Horlick already all out on the A. BP likes a little really nice dizzy there, but unfortunately not going to be able to capitalize. Flash out going from Volt. Good Big pick. Baggy finding his head though. Great aim. Really unfortunate. Spike's gonna be planted. We're gonna see three on the uh -oh. rafters. Oh, no, Zerg's a nice blind. Gonna go up. Robo's gonna be out flanking Jen. from Garden. One on top of Jen. He's gonna get smoked off though. Two players playing mid as well. Maggie finding a pick on the Iron War. B player relax, finding one on the Nox. Horlicks is two. Horlicks favor. Robo has to push out here from the smoke. Last player standing. Unable to get cleared by. Deep Black Star after remaining member. Finding Deep Black is up to him. Putting Wingman on the bomb. Gonna find skills. Can't so find, can find boys. boys and Horlick and it. wins round 16. Oh, before. Uno boss. Match point. Throw the king. They're one win away from knocking Bayport out. One win away from making state once again. That's, uh, yeah, that's probably the better. <laughs> yeah, that's probably the better metric <laughs> to spit yeah, out. Yeah, that's probably the way to put it. <laughs> uh, just remember, ladies and gentlemen, I am not a biased caster. Uh, nonetheless, though, match point, round 17. Oh, and Voltage has a whole squadron coming for him right now. Oh, he can't do anything. Wow. They did him. Nox K gets two right away. Horlick smelling blood in the water. This is intense. Oh, okay. He's just going to walk away. Horlick smells blood in the water. They're close. Joy is in the backside. He's going to bucky. Clocking Baggy. Trying to bucky another one. Oh, he does. Oh, he tried to get three. He had to reload. Okay. BP Lax has a Bucky. Iron Warrior, the only player that's going to go here. He's going to go up and over. BP Lax is going to get flashed. Flash from Nox. Nox going to get four. Nox potentially going to ace to close this one out. Oh, that would be... Going to hit BP Lax. Nox knows where he is. That would be so poetic. He's going to chase him down. He's got it! Destroy Lonely gets it. And that's it. Hornlick is going to states. Horlick goes to state for the second time in 2023. First time was Rocket League. That didn't go too well for him, but they get another crack at it for Valorant this Saturday. Wow. 13 to 4, the final score. Your top fragger is Baggy. Uh, no surprise, their average combat score of 387, KDA of 23, 8, and 5, Econ rating of 110, 6 first blood, 0 plants, 0 diffuses. Top fragger for Bayport, Rollboat. 292 combat scores, 16, 14, and 0 KDA. Econ rating of 78. One first blood, three plants. Henry, what a match. Although it was a what little one-sided. That's all I can say. I feel like, match. Yeah, I feel like the score doesn't really tell the whole story of matches uh, in Valorant. Yeah, but this this one was great to cast. Uh, good one for my 28th playoff game. And uh, yeah, my last event that I'll be working full time for Wasia uh, as of now will be the state championship at Carthage. So uh, before we end the stream, let me just take you in on what's going on with the divisions uh, for the playoff brackets. I have not looked at them. 
yet, so uh, this will be news to me and you. So we'll go on to Window Capture. And once again, you can find these rankings for the playoff brackets for both League of Legends and Valorant on wisea.leaguespot.gg. All right, so we'll go into Division 1. We'll see what's going on here. All right, so Horlick will be advancing to the semifinals. It uh, doesn't look like anything has changed. Uh, yep, so nothing has changed yet. Park in Waukesha South still in progress. Waukesha West and K still in progress. Oak Creek, Watertown still in progress. So nothing really for Division 1. All right, Division 2. Nothing yet as well. All the match is still in progress. Granted, we did finish a little early. That is true. All right, so... Uh, news for Division 3, Freedom has made it to state. They will be playing either Williams Mayor or, Val or Valders in one of the semifinals. And Walden has defeated Watoma. They will be making it to state again. A prized eSport organization making a another state appearance. Uh, three times in the four seasons that I've casted for Wasia. Uh, spring 2022 Rocket League, Winter 2023 Rocket League, and now Spring 2023 Valorant. Actually, no, it was all four times. Uh, fall 2022 Smash. How could I forget? Uh, I probably forgot because we didn't get to cast that game. So, that's probably why. Alright, and then, since there's no further updates on that, uh, for more information on the uh, upcoming state championship event at Carthage College on Saturday, June 3rd, you can go on WI sca.org this is the new and improved website that we have it looks drastically different than what we had before it's it's a lot smooth sailing as well so uh the quickest way to get to the valorant stuff is you go to menu go to titles go to spring season and then go to where it says playoff and state info and here you will have information on what is going to be offered at carthage during the time so the esports facility along with the jockey room upstairs is located in the todd weir center 22 on the map Breakfast, lunch, and dinner will be available. So breakfast will be available 7 to 9 a.m. Lunch, 11 to 1.30 p.m. And dinner, 4.30 to 6.30. Because it'll be a long day for both League of Legends and Valorant. Because uh, semis and f grand finals will be best of three. So that could take anywhere between an hour to like an hour and a half. Maybe even two hours if it's really competitive. So uh, yeah, here is the schedule. So check-in begins 8 a.m. Uh... League of Legends will be kicking off with their semis, and then it's state championship for League of Legends, and then I for sure will be on uh, with Sia's Twitch stream for Valorant. Uh, I'm not sure if Henry will be able to be there, but if he's there, he will be there as well. So after state championship for League of Legends finishes out, uh, with Sia will be having the one of the D3 semifinals, and then we will have all of the grand finals for Valorant Division Three, Division Two, and Division One. Henry, thank God we don't have five divisions for Valorant because if we did, um, we'd be there forever. Oh, definitely. Oh, best of three. Yeah, we'd be there forever. Uh, and then, oh. and then the secondary channel, Carthage Esports, they get a semifinal two for League of Legends, the other D3 semifinal for Valorant. Both of the semis for Division 2 and Division 1. Uh, so yeah, this will be my last state championship event under my full-time run for Wasia as I make the jump over to Carthage Esports in the fall. So this is kind of a, a great send-off opportunity, uh, if you will, for me. Uh, but nonetheless, I am very, very, very excited for state now that Horlick has made it. And I'm very curious to see who else is going to make it as well. Uh, but oh, with it, but with that being I'm said, gonna keep my eye on it. yeah. But uh, with that being said, the stream and I'll come to a conclusion. I have been your fellow with C commentator Anderson Jr. I've been your college commentator Henry, and we will see you this Saturday, June third, Carthage College for Spring 2023 Valorant and League of Legends State. But for be now. There.